Hi, Leo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's showing up for you. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Spirit, Universe, Angels, and guys, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going for Leo. Okay, you have change, knowledge. Okay, so you could have a change because of knowledge you find out, or you may change something and then tell people or okay let's just do a card a walking away yeah you're letting something go that you're tired of justice so maybe you're fed up with something you're kind of pissed off um, and it's like it's about time to like move on like you're just done with something maybe a Libra involved for some of you but and it is interesting because change like this card and then knowledge maybe you're telling someone that you're done or tired of a situation or someone is not happy with you that you're walking away but justice tells me that it's like it's it's good thing that you're changing or you're moving oh wow hmm The end of the deck is the fool. There's definitely a change here for you. Okay, the cards make it almost look like someone that some you're leaving someone behind or something behind that you're no longer satisfied with. And someone's not happy to see you go. In fact, they may be a little annoyed with you, but it doesn't matter because the situation is very heavy. It weighs you down. Meanwhile, there's another situation coming in for you. Now I'm gonna read this as if it's a job, or some of you, if it is a job, it could be a job that pays less or has less prestige but makes you very, very happy, okay? It could be in a smaller company. It could be something like that. It could also be like your dream job. It's something you've always wanted. It has less responsibility, but you're happier. It could be paying you less, but again, you're happier. There's something that, there's something new on the horizon. You've been putting up with the situation, Leo, for too long. That's very hectic. It's very heavy. It's, it, you're being overworked, underpaid. If it's a relationship, same thing. So you're making the change and then you're telling someone is kind of what I'm seeing here because that's actually how these cards came out also. It's like you you leave the job and then you tell them after you're gone. Um, by the way, I'm not coming back. I'm done. Um, people won't be happy, but oh well. I don't see any fallout for that. I actually see that as probably like you waited too long with justice being here. This could be someone who wants to come in and, and you know they see that you left or they find out that you left and then or again you're telling them I, I'm getting a new job and it's down here. You can see it down here. And you're really happy now you also have this ace of cups energy so it's just interesting because for a lot of you this may be love now one thing is somebody from the past might try to like entice you to come back possibly or like there's someone here that i feel like you're not interested in i feel like someone's looking at you it could be a virgo it doesn't have to be but you're probably ignoring this because you're looking this direction like i get there's something you have your eye on you have a big change that you want to make um, and it could be just you want to be happier because Ace of Cups does not have to be new love. It can just be you want to be happy again. You want to have more, you know, fun, be more emotionally fulfilled. So for some of you, there could be a younger earth sign or just an earth sign, a Taurus maybe, that likes you or something like that you're going towards. Um, I feel like it's a very happy connection if it is specifically like that. A Taurus or someone who's, I was going to say a little more easygoing. Yeah, the end of fighting. Okay, yeah, something's changing here. The end of fighting, a new beginning that's more um, in line with what you want. It's like you're pursuing your happiness. It's almost like up here, like let's say you went and became a lawyer because your your dad or mom wanted you to become a lawyer. And you're like, you know what, I just can't do that anymore. That's not where my passion is. I'd rather like, you know, live on, a, live on some land and have some chickens and write and take photos. Maybe you're more artistic. You know what I mean? Maybe you're more artistic and you're not as, you know, whatever your path is changing you want to be happy is what i'm saying you want to follow what your bliss is not what someone else's you may be taking um, a pay cut though you may not have as much money going into this new thing possibly so what is this ace of cups you're you are worrying which i'm not surprised i think you're worried what people are going to say maybe people will shun you this whole reading is about like coming out in some way or like letting people know how you really feel or like like telling people like that's like like even telling like you you may be with someone for 10 years and you're telling them you know i'm really not happy and instead of like being shady or having an affair i'm going to just 
end this and move on. And they're not happy, but I don't see the, I see the situation being bad for a while here. The five of wands, the nine of wands, the 10 of wands. So you may be afraid that people, you know, will be mad at you. Like your parents might be mad at you or your friends or your ex or soon to be ex is going to be mad at you. And you are worried about this. So I can see you have a heavy heart. Like you care about people. And you guys, I mean, of course, you, you do, you guys have big hearts, Leo. So you are afraid of, you know, letting people down, hurting people's feelings, making people upset with you. But it's like, in order to be happy, it's kind of like you have to do that. What is the six of coin, six of wands, five of cups, the death card, seven of coins, wheel of fortune, and the king of cups? Let's see. Yeah, see, part of you, there's a lot, there's a, okay, don't be surprised if you're more emotional about this than you realize, or someone else is, because it's like, there's a depth here, there's a major ending here, it's almost like possibly even getting like your last paycheck or something, but you're sad, that, but that is going to end, you are going to be in a better place, you're going to be happier, you're going to be more in love with your life, it almost as I'm talking feels unfair, but has been going on to you, like you were put in a position you did not want to be, like you would rather be the king of cups, or the queen of cups like you'd rather live with your passion or your love or like you were with the wrong person this whole time and you knew it but i see you being happier now again it could be that you'd rather be with the water sign or something a water sign is coming in oh see that'll bring in more abundance too well oh, wait a minute No, some of you are just cutting ties with the past. Yeah, there's a lot of heaviness around your past, like what you had to put up with, what happened. Some of you haven't processed it fully. There could have been a third party or cheating. Um, there could have been a king of cups that was shady. Like some of you want to ditch like all your responsibilities and be more free. You don't want to think about the past and something that had happened, heartbreak, deception in the past. Could have been with the gold digger, possibly with the nine of coins coming up that way. Could have been that you gave a lot to a person and they did not appreciate it. Wow, this is a major ending. It's weird because it's coming across almost like you're casually brushing it off, but it's a big deal. I feel like some of you need to do this before you have maybe a mental or emotional breakdown. I see you doing it at the right time. Like, as you know, I don't have the tower. I don't have the ten of swords. I do have death, which is, to me, okay. Ten of wands. End of a cycle. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. There's new love. A new person has stirred your feelings. And a honeymoon phase. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you are definitely going to be in a relationship with somebody new. It's not really showing in this. Well, it is showing as the ace of cups. There is, there is something that's here. Um, Leo, okay, your card was out. Leo, masculine energy. With a Sagittarius. Also, what flipped around is a new connection for some of you, yeah. So you have a new relationship on the horizon, possibly with another fire sign or earth sign, or maybe a water sign. But this past situation, whatever you're dealing with, needs to go. Because I think it's causing you to feel weighed down and you may not even realize it. Or if you do, it could be causing you health issues that you don't know about. There's a lot of arguing. I mean, that needs to stop. It could be something very manipulative too, possibly in your past. It's not showing that heavily, but it could be there. Okay. I think some of you are afraid to like sell, like I said, tell somebody that your true feelings and what you're doing, that you're walking when you're leaving because you're afraid they're going to feel let down or that you're going to disappoint them or you're worried about them. But I kind of feel like if you don't do it now, you're going to miss this window. And I feel like there could be heavier repercussions down the way, such as a tower, um, such as something else. Right now, it feels like it's good timing to do it. It's kind of what I'm, I'm getting. Like you need to make this change. Okay. Um, date. So some of you are getting get back out there. I'm sorry. I just got all excited. Uh, meeting someone new, setting a date or dating online. And it is showing up in your reading. Not as heavy, but like, but it is there. There's the nine of coins was there. All right. Um, some of you have a poker face right now. You're going to take a chance, risks and options, not showing your hand or emotions, I'm going to say, and also gambling. And one more engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnerships and union and completion. 
and wedding rings is under the deck too so some of you may be headed toward marriage in the future i'll say in the future well some of you are going to date someone and you're not really sh expressing your feelings or showing showing your feelings but this could be going into something long term that's interesting so again that's kind of like what's coming in so some of you are breaking up some of you are breaking up and you know you're going to hurt the person and you don't want to or you are again leaving a city or an area a job that you are just fed up with yeah some of you may be traveling moving on it says vacation honeymoon enjoyment i'm also going to say moving on gifts wow so it's the reading is now going towards there's a new connection here where you could be engaged in a committed relationship if you wanted to maybe this person is very um, thoughtful they give gifts true love is here it could be an, it says ice king under here I hope there is maybe traveling together maybe you feel guilty because you're going towards something that's going to make you really really happy and give you more f freedom financial freedom maybe this person with the six of coins pays for everything i wouldn't feel bad i think this is something that's meant for you leo i think you're meant to step into this new relationship so i'm going to leave it there you guys have a really good week